Hello everyone. Well, after saying I was going to start making videos of my wild camps, here I am, 11 months later, making my first video. Um, I'm on my way to uh, an area in the New Forest, which is not too far from my house. It's probably about a four mile walk. Uh, with the aim, I'm going to meet my friend Mike uh, for a quick night out in the woods. Um, it's forecast to rain. It's, today's the 18th of November. 2017. It's dry at the moment, but it's supposed to rain fairly heavily um, from about four o'clock, I think, until about midnight. So uh, it's just gone two now. So I'm just anxious to get out to the spot, get my tarp up, and uh, have somewhere dry to sit. Um, I'm using a. I'm going for the Dutch hoop bivy today. Um, tend to be in my hammock all summer and then I get to the winter and then I prefer being on the ground and I think Mike is planning on uh, I think he's gonna ditch his hammock for the night and I think he's gonna be on the ground so it'll be interesting to see what setup he's got because he normally has something quite interesting um, so I'm gonna continue my walk now and I'll come back to you once I've found an area where we're gonna camp see you in a bit Right, here we are. This is the uh, spot we're going to camp in tonight. It wasn't the, uh, the spot that I'd actually planned. Um, I got down to the spot that I'd uh, wrecked on a map earlier and it was just so boggy and there was loads and loads of fallen trees. I just thought, no, no, this is not right. So um, I've come back to a spot we've camped at loads of times. I've probably camped here oh, at least 40 or 50 times now. It's a beech forest um, and I know you shouldn't really camp under beech trees um, because they've got very shallow roots and they're likely to fall over but there are no fallen trees around here um, and they're all fairly young beech trees so I think we should be okay. So um, I'm just going to set up my tarp and wait for Mike to get here um, and yeah, I'll see you in a minute. Right, okay, here we are. Um, it's now, as you can see, relatively dark. We've been here for probably about an hour, just sort of setting up and having a bit of a chat. Um, this is my setup. I've got my 3x3 DD tarp just over the top of my hooped bivy. And Mike, as predicted, has gone for something interesting. He's using his super light. Yeah, super light. Superlight, th Superlight tarp. and here's two walking poles to create uh, this kind of tent, I suppose. Mm. Tent type thing. I mean, it yeah. looks good. Probably got a really clever name somewhere. It looks pretty impressive. It'll work, hopefully. So, there we go. There's me over there looking a little bit unsociable. I should maybe sort of try and peg that out a little bit. And there's Mike's super duper creation that he's done with uh, two walking poles and a super light tarp. So um, we'll probably get something to eat, get a drink, and uh, I'll probably come back to you a bit later. There we go. Got the fire going. Um, really only using the fire for just a little bit of light this evening. I'm not really cooking on it. It's just more just uh, gives a bit of light, a bit of atmosphere. We're not making a very big fire at all, but um, yeah, got it, got it started pretty easy. So uh, we're now just gonna have a bit of a chill and um, enjoy the evening. All right, good morning everyone. Here's our camp, you can see it a little bit better now. Now it's light, the sun's just coming up. Um, time is half past seven. So the sun's just been up for probably about half an hour. As you can see, we're in this lovely beech wood which is looking very orange this morning, which is lovely. Uh, both Mike and I have just got the kettle on. Have the first cup of coffee. I thought I'd just quickly show you where we are camping and um, our setups just a little bit better. Sorry if this camera's a little bit wobbly. But here we are. And the sun is coming up just through there. So, 
here's my setup. I've got my 3x3 DD tarp, the first time I've used it. I got given it as a birthday present back in May, but um, since then I've just been in my hammock and I've got a Hennessy hammock so the, uh, the tarp comes with it. And normally when I ground well I use just a army basher. Um, but this is much better. It's got a huge, huge amount of room underneath it. Oh, I suspended it through the ridge line using the with the ridge line over the top and just did a couple of prosic knots just to keep it tight. Um, but as you can see, I've got a huge amount of space under there. It's nice and toasty last night. Um, love this hooped bivy. I'm going to do a separate review on this at some other point, but I love the fact that it's side entry and it's just easy to get in and out. It's left zip, just like my sleeping bag. Um, so I've just got a Van Gogh Ultralight 1300, which is uh, just a three season sleeping bag, which I've had for years. Um, I'm always warming it. And I've got my Sea to Summit inflatable pillow. And I've got a Neo Air x Lite Derma Rest pad. Um, which is brilliant and probably deserves a, a review of its own as well. It's, um, I think it's got an R rating of 3 point something. I think it's 3.4, I think, which is good down to minus 7. And I was certainly toasty in there last night. And I think, Mike, did you have your Neo Air last night, mate? Yeah, I've got the X-Therm. X-Therm in there, yeah, um, which is the... There we go, which is the bad boy. You can sleep on snow and everything on that thing. Um, so that's going to keep you really, really warm. How were you in your um, triangular construction last night? Comfy? Once I was in, it was great, actually. Yep. Um, it worked really well. Um, but getting in was a bit tight. Yeah, because you're just using the... this morning was particularly tight. Yeah, because it's a small space. And, Tiny little space, yeah. And you're using a British Army bivy which yeah. is a uh, top entry so <laughs> yeah having a little wriggle having a little wriggle but uh yeah no both of us were nice and comfy last night definitely um easy nine hours of sleep it was yeah it was yeah. yeah it was nine hours the sun's coming up over there which looks beautiful and led in bed this morning and last night actually listened to some owls and the rain just pitter pattering on the tarp so um it doesn't get much better than that. So uh, we've both just got a brew on the go um, and then we'll start to uh, pack up and um, I'll show you the camp once we've set it down. And this is where we had our fire last night. And I got my Trangia 27 just uh, boiling, just making my cup of, uh, ready to make my cup of coffee. So yeah, I'll come back to you in a bit. Okay, we're all packed up. Uh, that's where my camp was. There's Mike just raking over some leaves. As you can see, leave no trace. That's where the fire was. Just as we found it. So a nice relaxing evening in the woods with a good mate. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. Thank you. And uh, yeah, let's do this again soon. See you later.